Hi Stampers, this is Aubrey and I'm excited to be back and to introduce you to my new baby. This is Emily Grace and we're very excited that she is a part of our stamping team now. She came early, earlier than we expected at 33 weeks, but she's doing great and I'm doing great and we're excited to be back. So I'm excited also to show you um, a fun new stamp set that I've been able to work with from the new catalog. It was actually one of my favorites that they showed us at on stage um, a couple months ago and it's this pineapple stamp set. I love pineapples. They are so fun. So I played with that a little bit and I also used the Thankful Thoughts stamp set to go along with it um, with all the great thank you sayings in that one. So I wanted to just get started by stamping my card. I'm not going to show you the full card yet. I'll just kind of stamp it and then show you the full thing at the end. So I am I thought I'd do a little bit of a, um, a non-traditional pineapple without the yellow and green. So we're going to use our basic black stamp pad, the archival ink. And I have the wood mounted stamp set so I kind of have to line it up carefully so make sure I get it in the center of my page there like so and then I'm gonna let that dry pretty good because I'm gonna emboss on top of it and you really want to let it dry before you emboss so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to the black part so I'll let that dry. Now that my pineapple's dried, I am going to stamp, well first I'm going to use this really cool tool. This is called the Embossing Buddy and it's so great for um, embossing, especially when you're embossing over another stamp because you just kind of dab it over so that there it reduces the static on your paper so that when you stamp, and when you pour the embossing powder, it only sticks to the Versamark that you stamp down. So like I said, I'm using this Thank You So Much stamp from the, from the Thankful Thoughts stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp it right over the top of my pineapple here in the Versamark. And then I'm going to use my gold embossing powder and I'm just going to pour it over the top. like so. And then I will heat set it with my heat tool. And there you have your saying over your pineapple. Okay, and then I trimmed down with my trimmer, I just trimmed off the sides. I stamped it on the full sheet just so that I could line it up easily. Five and a quarter by four inch piece and then I just trimmed off three quarters of an inch on each side. Okay, and then I will put my card together. I used the Pop of Pink Designer Series paper for the black piece and then I added some gold foil paper and a cute little bow. You have a very cute black and gold card with that cute pineapple. It's a little non-traditional from a typical yellow and green pineapple, but I thought it turned out really cute. And then I, so then I was playing and I really wanted to use these fun new binder clips, the gold binder clips that come in the catalog. And I thought, how can I put that on the card? But then I thought, how cute would it be to make a bag with also the Pop of Pink designer series paper and just clip that cute card right on with the binder clip, just like that. And these, I just cut three quarter inches of each of these papers and just adhered them on the bag. So super simple. So I love this set because it's so versatile. You can do so much with that cute pineapple. I wanted to just show you a few other cards that I've made up using it. So here is a typical pineapple looking card and very simple, just the stamping with a cute little thanks saying and an inside from that 
thankful thoughts set and then this is a little bit um, different with the brown and the yellow and the cute gold accents and then a, a pink pineapple <laughs> and I use the pop of pink paper on this card as well I love that paper it's just so cute so those are some fun samples that I I've made up using that fun pineapple stamp set. If you're interested in purchasing any of the items that you saw today, make sure to visit Jill's website at stampinjill.com. Thanks for stamping with me today and we'll see you next time for Watch It Weekly Wednesday.